This might be the best video we've ever uploaded and you don't even know yet. Is it straight? Yeah. Yeah? Wow, it's very bright. It's very it's bright. Very bright. Very bright. Ready? Don't look too pale. I'm ready. You ready? No, don't do that. I don't like it. Are you ready? Are you ready? That's traumatizing. Traumatizing? I don't okay. like that voice. <laughs> You ready? I'm ready. Oh shit, it's recording. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had no idea it was recording. I love that. I swear to God, I actually had no idea. There is no way we are putting any of that. I'm so pale, I don't no, like no, that. No, it's a light, baby, it's a light. You sure I shouldn't change that a little bit? No, it's a light. That is your true, true color. Why, oh. are you, why are you trying to lie to people? Because this... Why are you trying to lie to people? Light. Yeah, no, you you look you look oh, whiter oh, look, in the look, something just changed. Like, yeah, see much better. Yeah, you look whiter in the screen than you do in real life. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Ready? Should we change that? I mean, should I put it a better color? No. Let me try something. No, do you think this is better? Look at it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just got more time, but cool. I'm yeah. not complaining about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was down to get more time. I don't really see much difference in you, but I see the difference in me a lot. Can we check one thing? Okay. As you can see, Maria has prepared this video, which I love. No effort by me. <laughs> I was told to look good, which I always do, so I don't know why you're telling me that. And I didn't say sit that. down. She said that. She said, Look, babe, <laughs> wake up this morning and look good. That's all I'm asking you to do. I was like, What? But I didn't say that. <laughs> she didn't say that. She didn't say that. Okay. I'm joking. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> What's up, AM fam? Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to Welcome another back. weird episode of Alexa and Maria. <laughs> this might be the best video we've ever uploaded, and you don't even know yet. I don't even know why is this gonna be the best video? Because it's gonna be a hundred percent about you. <laughs> oh. I don't like those things. Take it away. No, no. I'm shy now. Oh. Take it away, take it away. In 2021, I married Alexa. That's right. That's right. Why did you say my name like that? Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? You're so not used to saying my name that when you say my name, it's, it's so like funny. I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> it's like you're saying it wrong. Yeah. I married right. Alexa, and uh, as you all know, she's from Trinidad and Tobago. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Tobago, Trinidad and Tobago. Emphasis on Tobago. Emphasis on Tobago because she was born. That's where I grew up. Yeah. I wasn't born she there. She wasn't born there. She was born in Trinidad. <laughs> I was not born there. Wrong. That's where I grew up. But I feel like Trinidad always gets more of the attention. Attention. Yeah. Tobago is by far more beautiful. Anyone from Trinidad, come for me. I can take it. Trust me. I, I'm on YouTube, so trust me, I can take a certain <laughs> amount of hate <laughs> and judgment. I'm used to that. What we're gonna talk about today, what I'm gonna talk about today, okay. and you're gonna do whatever you wanna do. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Speed that. <Yeah. laughs> is how is it being married to a Trinidad? How is it being married to a. <laughs> this is so hard to say. How is. How is being married to a Trinidadian girl? <laughs> I just wanna that say. It's so hard to say. <laughs> With your last line that you finally said properly, you left out. One of the words. I did? Yeah, you said how hard is is it. Ah. Okay, anyway, it's fine. How hard is it being married? No, how hard? What? How is? How is it? I don't know why I added <laughs> You didn't say <laughs> hard? Why I didn't did I add hard? hard? <laughs> Clearly that's my true thoughts. No, honestly, I, I pray for you. Anyway, um, <laughs> Let me start off by saying when I first met Alexa in 2019, yes. a whole new world opened up mm -hmm. yeah, in my life. To you, Trinidad and Tobago did not exist. Did not exist. What? So it was like a new world on the map. Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea that these two islands that formed one country, mm -hmm. one whole country, yes. existed. Okay. So obviously, I think 
I kind of pretended with you that I knew what it was, and then I went to look it up, and then eventually I told you later on that I didn't know what it was. Yeah. That possibly what happened, because yeah. I usually would fake that. Okay, so for those of you that do not know where Trinidad and Tobago is, or what it is, so it is a Caribbean island. This is how it looks. It has this kind of weird geometric form. It's kind of cool the way it's shaped. It's Why'd you like... say weird then? I love because it's like geometric, but not fully a square, you know? I but it is like... I don't know why I'm looking at that map. I know. It's not even there. <laughs> so it's formed by the main island of Trinidad and a smaller one of Tobago. Yeah. Technically, the name is Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. And it's one of the healthiest country in the Caribbean. Also oh. one of the southernest. Southern... Sub southernest. Southernest country. Most southern. It's rich because of the reserve of oil and gas. Is, and that's more it, information than you knew. Probably. Is it the richest? One of them. It's one of the richest. One of the I knew that, wealthiest. but I didn't know. Oh, you said wealthiest, not healthiest. Wealthiest. You said healthiest before. Oh, but I meant wealthiest. <laughs> and it's one of the healthiest country in the Caribbean. <laughs> I was like, healthiest? I didn't know that. And how do they measure what the healthiest? <laughs> Do they go around to each house? So like, what do you eat? How often do you eat KFC a week? You know what I mean? Like, and then calculate how many how many times people work out, how many people go to the gym. No. I was like, healthiest? You should say healthiest. Possibly, unless yeah. I'm tripping. Uh, I'm just gonna show you again on the map. Is right by Venezuela, as you can see. Yes. So if you didn't know anything about this country, now you do. Yeah. And I found out that about four years ago. <laughs> Uh, okay, I feel like we should dig in into how is it being married to a Trinidadian girl. Okay. Okay, let's start with the good stuff. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm terrified. I'm joking, that was good stuff, that was good stuff. Are they? No, I mean, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I made a list yesterday. Let's start with the second thing, because obviously the first thing was finding out a new country in the world. Okay. Uh, second of all, I learned a whole new music genre. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's what I'm here for. If you I'm guys are wondering what I'm here for, that's what I'm here for. To correct your English. Nothing to do with video. For those of you that do not know, I'm Italian, so if I struggle with speaking English, that is why. This music is called Soca Music. Mm -hmm. Right. Best music in the world. It is spelled S O C A. Mm -hmm. For the Italian people watching this, video, which I doubt is many of you because I'm speaking in English, that is really dissing all the Italians. I know. I say it that really, I know how to speak It really is. English. It really is. You know what? I didn't say it. I said not, it. Like, I'm not taking it. No, blame. I'm joking. There are some of, you some of you that follow us that are Italians and I want to say it, it's, it's not the bad word that we have in Italian, which is spelled S-U-C-A. It's S-O-C-A. Yeah. That one is really bad. Yeah. What is it again? No. Yeah. Yeah. Stop saying it. Oh, sorry. Go the whole thing. Some of the songs actually managed to arrive in the small town of back home that I'm from, Corleone, because I did know some of them. At least I just say no. five. Yeah, some of the some of the, some of the old soca song. I do know them. No. Yes. Really. Uh, yeah. Soca or dancehall. I think that's all actually. Yes, you don't know Soka. You, I know the songs that you say that you know yes, because everyone right. knew it. Some of them went international. Like yeah. I can think of one, Party Animal, for instance. Yeah. That one even plays in London. That's the one you told me you know. That's dance, or not Soka. Ah, uh, never mind that. Which is which is Caribbean. But... Yeah, Caribbean, but not Trinidadian. No. Yeah. So never mind. Scratch that. Uh, I found out this new music genre, which is amazing. It's the best music ever. It honestly like lifts your mood up yeah. by a thousand. It's happy music. It's happy music. That's what people say. It's happy music, it's and it literally is. Music. Yeah. And yeah, so that's one of the good things about being married to a Trinidadian. I family. love how much you love soca music. I love. You were so definitely much. meant to be married. A hundred percent. To a Trinidadian. You were. Yeah. You were. Because you love everything about it so far. Well, you haven't been there yet. Spoiler. She yeah. has not been to Trinidad. Isn't that wild? Wild. Honestly, if the day you wild. actually go, I am going to record your every move, your every reaction to everything you see and do and smell. Listen, I'm gonna feel. feel like a home. Yeah, you are. I'll be like, this is, is my home. It is your home. But it is gonna, it's gonna be, I can't wait to see your reaction to it. Cause it's gonna be like a, a whole new world for real. I don't know if this is just you 
and your family perhaps okay if it's a training thing oh god but y'all love to shower a lot oh that is a caribbean thing, that's a caribbean thing it's okay. definitely a caribbean thing compared to the rest of the world yes because we usually complain about people from the rest of the world <laughs> having poor hygiene <laughs> you if you if you could you would have a shower at least three four times a day yeah but i have um that has changed in me though that has changed in me since you've been married to me <laughs> since i've been married to you but also since i've been in london yes yeah i understand that in the caribbean it's really hot mm -hmm. so you kind of like find that refreshment in like you know yeah. like showering more often during the day I, because it's so hot that you sweat exactly because when i'm here i don't shower as much but when i'm home i definitely shower twice a day yeah minimum yeah but here sometimes well, yeah, i might throw in a little, little sprinkle shower in between yeah in between the day yeah. but i definitely shower in the morning on the start of the day and before i sleep and i cannot wait to shower and i shower back home because she has such a beautiful view by the window no yeah <laughs> No. That's your parents' shower. That's my parents' shower. Oh, that's your parents' shower. You can shower there though. Okay, I'll shower in parents' shower. shower. You can absolutely. You can such absolutely. a nice shower. My mom would be so happy for you to shower there. I remember you showering there actually. Knowing that you like it. Yeah, you have like a. I very. The only time I ever shower there is when I am um, bathing, bathing Henry, Henry. And then I shower after. Henry the dog. <laughs> Henry. The child. The child, sorry. The sibling. <laughs> okay, so yeah. That's one of the things that I had to uh, get used to. But again, she's adapting to me. But we live in London, so it's not that hot. I mean, we'll see the summer how it is, but... Yeah, I'm yeah. definitely gonna shower a lot more in summer. Yeah. Yeah. Water bills. Ching. Okay, next. Yeah, next. I love the accent. Okay. Which my wife does not have. <laughs> okay. But... That is not true. The 10% of the time when it does come out, that especially when true. we're hanging out Do with not sister, put me... Do not put me on blast like that, because that is not true. Honey. I do have the accent. All right, 20% of the time. I do have the accent. <laughs> you, okay, a lot, you know, sometimes I have it more. Yes. Um, but when we meet people, because you don't hear it anymore, you just hear me as your wife. Yeah. You're used to my voice. Yeah. But when people hear me, they guess it. They're like Caribbean, or you definitely have an accent. That's true. You know what I mean? So, like, obviously, people hear it. But then when I meet... I also your... think the people that follow us hear it, my accent. I know, they do. But then when, when we meet your uh, Caribbean family. friends and, and family, family yeah. I hear it a more. lot more. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know what? If I was home, I would be... I would speak more like that. Yeah. It's just you do adapt a little bit because you know people would be like, what, what did you just say? Whenever I hear it from your voice... Yeah. So, it's kind of, like, different than the usual voice mm -hmm. for some reason. Uh, it's just a funny so sexy. Okay. It's very sexy in your accent. Well. And also, funny thing, I thought her dad accent was so strong from bef before I met him, and I was so scared I would not understand a single word he was saying. Yeah. But that that was not the case. Not at all. You understood him. A hundred percent. You understood him completely. Completely. And I felt very proud of myself <laughs> from the fact that I'm starting to understand war. No, I'll, I'll do already, pretty much. I understand the soccer songs, what they're saying. Yeah. Because the first time you, you made me hear a song, I was like, I have no idea. That, is, that was one of my favorite games to play with you. <laughs> yes. I would play a soccer song and, I'd be, and I would pause it. What did they just say? What did they just say? It was just so fun for me to see that she had no idea what it said. Yeah. Or that like she got it completely wrong. Yeah, completely. So funny. Uh, and it's crazy because now I can actually recognize his accent. And craziest thing ever, I was at the GP, the doctor, and she started speaking to me. And before I took off my pants, because she was gonna check, whatever, uh, I literally <laughs> asked her. Why is that I love how you said that so casually. It's not like you said, it's not like you led with, um, I went to the gynecologist. You know, you went to the GP before I took off my pants. <laughs> Because you know, nobody had any idea that that was the type of checkup you were going for. You know, you would say gynecologist name. <laughs> I didn't even expect it. Go ahead. I lived in Hester behind the curtains yeah. while I was taking off my pants, as I said. <laughs> By the way, where are you from? Because I think you're Trinidadian. She was like, oh my god, I am. How did you know? I was like, oh my god, my wife is Trinidadian. She's like, oh my god. And it was super crazy. Why are you stripping? I was stripping. Why are you stripping? <laughs> So, love the accent, let's move on. Yes. And you're sexy. So you're sexy thing. as well. Okay, one more thing that I had to get used to being married to her. Oh god. 
uh, when we're traveling, because thankfully we do not have that in the UK, uh, is getting used to the air conditioner. Oh, right, yes. Right. I should have known that was coming. She loves to sleep half naked, but with a PJ on, covered up to the top, so she can stay warm underneath the blanket, mm -hmm. but outside the blanket, the temperature of the room, especially when we're traveling, mm -hmm. needs to be freezing cold. Very cold, yes. Not freezing, but quite cold. Yes. Quite cold, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've learned to adapt to that because obviously there is not a compromise. It needs to be like that. Which I'm happy with that, by the way. But that makes me she compromised. You know what? Me. That's not exactly true. We use the AC, but I put it on a way lower temperature. You put it on a way lower temperature than I would want. I would usually have it on 18, 15, whatever is the coldest. What do I do? I'm you usually put it up to 22, ah. 23, 24, whatever it is yeah. for so. us to sleep. So that's a compromise to me. We use the AC because I literally won't be able to sleep in a room without AC or like cold air. Yeah, that's true. L recently <clears throat> you've been doing that. Recently? We haven't been on a trip in all no, I know, I mean like in the last trip. Yeah, yeah. The last trip and maybe before that as well. Because yeah. you would wake up freezing cold and you would put it up because you yeah. kept it by your side. And after you getting sick once or twice, I was like, all right, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> I have to compromise. <laughs> My whole life, even if like we were putting air conditioning in the car for like five minutes, my whole family would get sick. I just start coughing. <laughs> I don't understand. We're just not used to that's it. We don't crazy. have. We only have air conditioning in one room in my house. That's room. all that it is. Is just that you're not used room. to it? Yeah, not used to it. Yeah. But uh, I'm starting to be, and that's fine. I'm prepared. I yeah. always pack an extra jumper to sleep in. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, long sleeve, long everything, scarf. Full on hoodie and, <laughs> and gloves. The gloves. <laughs> I also think it's good though. I'm glad that you're getting used to it because I really want you to get used to it. Yeah. So I can have nice, comfortable sleeps. 100%. And if you get used to it, then you can have nice, comfortable sleeps as well. Sounds you, great. You won't get sick anymore. No. I love you. I love you more. I love being married to her. Next. <laughs> Let's move on to the food side of it. Okay. Right. Best side. She's not a chef, but. Okay, I already think um, I don't like where that is going to lead the conversation with yeah, she's not I a chef. You started wrong. <laughs> you started completely wrong and I think you're going to be cooking for yourself. Let me take that back. For the rest of your life. <laughs> so she's the best cook of the family. The family is made by the two, two of us. Two of us. I was going to say of my family. No, no way of, now. Of, of this family. Right. It's our family. I don't agree with that, by the way. Oh, you think I am? Well, not anymore because of how happy you just got to. You just got way too happy no, you're good. to take no, that you're crown. Still good. You were like, oh, okay, I'll take the crown, nice. put it on my head. <laughs> you weren't gonna fight that at all. You were gonna say, that, no, no, you are. No, you, no, you are. are. You were just like, oh, thank you. I agree. <laughs> I think we are both on a similar level. I think of, we're on a similar level. I think we're on a similar level where we can cook. We can cook pretty decently. She cooked me. A few times, some trainee dishes. Yeah. And oh my god, mm -hmm. that were incredible. Yeah. So, so, so good. Mm -hmm. And so basically, I discovered mm -hmm. this whole new cuisine, which is brilliant. Unfortunately, in the UK, there is not many places that make authentic. 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 Yeah. Trini food. Yeah. What happened? No, I was going to get the hair from your mouth. Oh, but you got it. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> uh, authentic tr uh, Trini food. Because she keeps telling me that every time we order something, it's not supposed to be this spicy. No, well, some you can have sp that spicy or even more spicy in the Caribbean, but you could also have the option of not having it spicy. Yeah. Whereas most Caribbean places here, all of it is spicy and there's no option. Which I'm so frustrated because as much yeah. as I like spicy, I cannot handle it. It just ruins my palate yeah. and I drink a lot of water. It's because they usually they usually small shops here and yeah. they cook it all in one. So they don't cook one less spicy than the other. They exactly. just cook one sort of mid spicy batch. Because I can handle it, but you can't. I can't. But trust me, there are lots of people at home that don't like spice. My sister is one of them. Exactly. She's probably worse than you are. And she, she's eaten Caribbean food her whole life. Mm -hmm. We just wouldn't get her anything spicy. Or we would ask for it without pepper or anything. Like That's that. why I cannot wait to go back home by her so I can try all of that and just enjoy it every day. Yeah. Stew chicken, 10 out of 10. 
Okay, so it's not your favorite. Yeah, you love stewed chicken the most. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely not spicy. Like it's not spicy. Yeah. It's just so I love stewed chicken as well. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love so it. So good and so simple, but yet yeah, mm. so amazing and so simple to cook. Oh, so yummy. So yummy. Oh my uh, god, that's Caribbean food. Turn on time. What else? What Caribbean else? Food. Brilliant. What else? Food? Yeah, food. Why? Right. Show you food. Tell you people. Know, you, the food that you know. You and your mother made the curry. Yeah. Which was brilliant. Mm -hmm. And her mother also brought us some roti. Yeah. And I love bread, so it's obviously I'm gonna ro roti skin. Yeah. And roti. She's made the chickpeas as well. So good. Um, doubles. Doubles. Yeah. We have had a nice one <clears throat> in, in this place in the UK. You had a pretty good one. Yeah. Well, the things that I want to try that we haven't been able to find here are shark bake. Shark and bake. Shark and bake. <laughs> Sorry. Shark and bake. I came so bake, confident. Bake made out of shark, people. <laughs> Damn it. Bake and shark. Hey, this one thing that you like a lot, you mm. told me. Yeah. But I'm gonna totally say it wrong. Okay. Uh, Please. Bust up shark. Yeah, you got it. Yes! <laughs> it's basically like an open roti. There's all yeah. different things and you just take the skin and eat it yourself yeah, so like that. I also wanna try crab. Oh yeah. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Oh, curry crab. Oh my god, the dumpling. Oh my god. We have such a good one in Tobago as well. <sighs> right by the airport. Um, oh is god. it? Crown Point. Crown Point. Yeah, oh my god, what the hell? I'm forget <laughs> forgetting my country. <laughs> Crown Point has all these little food stalls. I swear to god, as soon as we land, I'm going there. We're gonna get the box and we're gonna sit right there because there's seats. We're gonna sit right there and we're gonna eat it right there. Mm. I have two more things left. <laughs> I'm guessing one good, one bad. Um, wait, wait. Oh, I'm okay. Wait, what are the bad things? No, there are no any bad things. Oh, okay. air conditioning a little bit, but not really. Okay, yeah. It's just things that I have to get used to, whatever. Right. Okay. I don't know if it's a Trini thing once again, or is it you thing? Okay. But you're bossy. You know what? I look for that. I look for that comment because yesterday you told me about this video idea and I was like, what are you going to put in it? That we're bossy? <laughs> <laughs> I gave you that. Let I don't me. think you would have thought of that if I didn't make that joke yesterday. I wasn't sure if I could have said it. <laughs> to I today agree. I met you. I agree to an extent. To today I met you. Yeah. Uh, your personality just came out, obviously. And straight away, <laughs> like... What I knew about you is that you are the type of person that if you have a dream, you make it come true. Okay. And that relates to being bossy. I'm just in charge. You are in charge. I'm in charge sometimes. I let you be in charge sometimes. Though. Can I? <laughs> 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 of course. <laughs> Do you think it's a you thing or do you think it's a, it's a Trini thing? I think the only reason I made that joke yesterday is because I think Trini woman are just strong, strong yeah, minded, yeah, yeah. strong willed in that way. Are you I think most of uh, us are. Honestly, I admire that. I admire that. Yeah, sometimes I, I do. Sometimes, I it, yeah, it's a, it's a pro and a con. I'm gonna say, yeah, yeah. For, for that is the truth. Sometimes I'm too bossy. Don't like the word. You said it. <laughs> no, you said it. I feel like I needed that in my life, so I'm quite like, not all the time, but sometimes it's good to yeah. have that kind of personality. I in my life. feel like the more open to it you are, the more things we do. The happier we are, the more open you are to my um, to my what do you what do I what bossiness? I know <laughs> what's best for us, honey. See. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm coming off very bossy in this. But it's just because I'm I'm defending myself, which is not good to do. I'm taking let me take the criticism, I'm not being defensive. You are right. I am. Are you not? And sometimes I know and then sometimes you tell me and I'm like, you're right. That's it. You take the lead. Last but not least, I don't know if it's a you thing, but I think it's also a Trini thing. Okay. You are one of the most caring person. I know. I've seen that with your family as well. Okay. So yeah. that's why I'm relating it to it to your own personality as being a uh, trainee. Okay. As well. So give examples. It just about me and my family. It's, so. it's uh, well the way your family's been welcoming me since the first time, the first day. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. The way they support us, no matter what we do, 
Right. They're always there for us. Your sister being so caring, so loving. Mm -hmm. Literally, I'm not gonna have a sister. Yeah. And you, the way you take care of me, how much you literally care about my health, my my everything. So you like that? I like that. Because sometimes, sometimes you think that's me being bossy. <laughs> <laughs> you like... can't be mixed up <laughs> the way it's approached uh, but I love it either way yeah no, sometimes I'm yeah. just too strong with it because obviously yeah. that also comes mixed within my personality of being Italian being lazy being all of mm -hmm. that and I'm like oh leave me alone <laughs> yeah <laughs> so that's a bit of a class sometimes <laughs> yeah but but hey, that was, that was, that, guys, if you didn't know how it is being married to a Trini girl, now you know. No. <laughs> and you fall into it, I do guess, it or don't. I guess you know. <laughs> We're gonna do a part two to this, if you guys want. Ooh. Where I will do things, what, what is the video title? Things about, uh, things. What is like What is like being married to an Italian. Yeah. Woman. Yeah. That's Female. The one female yes because italian men are different right yeah hope you guys enjoyed it i loved I it i definitely <laughs> did i don't feel i thought it was going to be worse on my part i think there, i thought there was going to be more bad stuff you know whereas i feel like everything was mainly good mainly good yeah. so thank you very much you're very that. welcome what can i say i don't know just go <laughs> <for> the video <laughs> All right, guys, as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the family because, yeah, it's good over here. It's good over here. On the sunny Caribbean side. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, today's post notification shout out goes to Everett, Everett Parker. I like what she said. Everett Parker. I literally love you guys so much. You guys feel like such a safe space to me. Oh, that makes me really happy. That's so I sweet. understand completely because when I was out, not out and home in Trinidad, I used to watch YouTube couples yeah. and it would also feel like a safe space to me. So I'm glad that we can now be that for other people. That makes me really happy. I love that very yeah. much. All right. I love you. I love you all. Okay. <laughs> what is this? All right, guys. Bye. <laughs> Peace and God bless. <laughs>